Hey y'all, this is Craig. Today I got a, another good mail call. First thing I got is from my brother James G. James sent me two of his cool stickers. I was hoping I'd get some of these. I like both designs on James's stickers. James is a great guy. He's got an awesome channel. He uh, He's great with bushcraft and does a lot of stuff with knives. And I wish I had the knowledge he's got of knives. But James, I sure appreciate your stickers, buddy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them on the sticker board right quick. All right, I'm gonna put your first one right here under Mad Dog. Survival and next to Tubby, Out Guy, Tubby Guy Outdoors. Second one, I'm putting both of them up here because I like both designs. Next one I'm gonna put right here next to Mr. Tommy. There we go, James. I sure appreciate it. You're on the board, buddy. Alright, y'all. The next one I got didn't have a return address once again. And I didn't think anybody could get me any better than uh, Frugal Farmer did when he sent me the application for the National Ch Chitlin Eating Competition. But uh, I was wrong. This right here says, oh, uh, let me see. Well, it says enclosed, two earwax candle molds. And it says, making earwax candles for fun and profit. Is earwax edible? Is earwax protected? Y'all check that out. Well, I was wondering, because when I went in to pick my box up a lady at the post office kept staring at me and i'm thinking well she's already kind of leery of me after that first incident but she just kept staring me down so i went in got in the truck didn't think much about it and then when i got out of the truck and i read this i realized i think she was looking at my ears so i opened it up and the first thing i found in it was two big old blocks of wax. And my first thought is, I sure hope this ain't earwax, but it turned out it's not. The next thing I pulled out was the package. And then I saw it. It's a keychain from Frugal Farmer. Charles, you got me again, buddy. So, uh, and it, uh, let me see, i open the letter here. Cool little card. It said, this is some of my homemade unscented soap. Hope all is well in your world. Frugal farmer. Well, buddy, you got me once again, and it was worth another good laugh. And uh, I can't wait to try out your soap. I'm sure it's going to be good. But uh, y'all go over and check out James G. Outdoors and Frugal Farmer. Uh, you'll like both their channels. They're both great folks. And uh, I'll leave a link to this in my description page for both of them. And uh, once again, it was another fun mail call. But I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I hate that the... Shed looks like this, but it's supposed to, about to be raining outside, and I've tore the walls out in here. I'll show you. I'll let you look around. Hang on. All right, I don't know if you remember on my older videos, but this used to be just, it used to stop right here on this wall. And this was like a little eight-foot room here, nine-foot maybe. I knocked the wall out, and it goes all the way over here now, so I got about a... I guess a 12 by 16 or 12 by 18, something like that. But it's gonna, it's it's a mess right now. But I got a a lot more room in here now. 
and I think I'll be able to do a whole lot more stuff once uh once trapping season gets here but uh y'all go over and check out stoney's outdoor adventures too because we went on a fatwood hunt uh day before yesterday and uh we picked up some good fatwood and he filmed it all so i'll leave a link in for stoney's channel in the description too but i appreciate y'all hanging out and coming along and uh i'll see y'all on the next one Well, y'all, this is what we wound up with. We done got tarred. But I guarantee you, that's five, six hundred pounds of fatwood right there. And we could do this every day for months out here in this place, so. Well, what do y'all think? Think we got enough? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm hot. <laughs> My gloves smell like Christmas time. time. <laughs> I yeah. think we're good. Anytime you make old Stony break a sweat, we done something. <laughs> well, it was a good day. I told him we got, I bet we got 500 pounds of fat wood. So. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, and this done got 90 degrees, so it's 90 degrees. It's time to go home. That's it. So, it was a good day, though. Yes, sir. Sweet. I enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time.